Hi friends, Pastor Kyle here, and I want to welcome you to my living room. And this is the this is the exact spot pretty much where every morning I come and I ha always have a cup of coffee with me and I grab my Bible and I have uh, some quiet time, some time in the Word with the Lord. And I always try to grab my physical Bible, not my my phone when I read the, the Bible in the morning, just because, you know, my, my kids are coming and going. And if I'm on my phone reading the Bible, it looks like I'm just scrolling Instagram or something. So I grab my Bible and I pray and I spend some time with the Lord in the morning. And I think it's really important to do that. It's a great way to start my day just because I know as, as I head out into the world, I just come in contact with, with so many different things, so many different thoughts and ideas kind of just wash over my brain. And you know, the scriptures say that we should uh, wash our mind with the, the water of the word. And I think one of the best ways we can do that is with soap. And now I'm, I'm not talking about the soap you keep in the bathroom. Soap is an acronym and it stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. And we've got some exciting resources we're gonna be having you know, on our website as well as on social media. So I wanna encourage you to be looking for that because uh, in this new year, in 2024, we want to dig into God's Word. You know, if we only eat once or twice a week at church, you know, we're not gonna be spiritually strong. And the same is true for us in, in, our, in our lives. And so we wanna make sure that we're getting into God's Word and feeding daily. And so let me just kind of tell you what, how soap works. And we're going to have some, some printable things you can, you can get online where you can print out uh, like a soap journal. It's a little paper handout you can kind of follow along with. So, uh, so S stands for scripture. And we're going to have like a Bible reading plan. You know, each, each month it'll be online. And we as a church can be reading the scriptures together. We can kind of all be reading the same thing at the same time, which is super cool. Uh, and you know, I know sometimes life gets busy and maybe we kind of miss a day or something comes up. Uh, don't don't kick yourself. Don't quit. Just jump right back in and pick up where you left off. You know, uh, on on the day that it is today. So, so we start out with scripture. So maybe you'll have like you know James chapter one, and so we read that that chapter of scripture. So let's say you know I'm reading maybe in uh, James chapter one. Let me just kind of pull that up here, uh, and I'm reading through James chapter one, and verse nineteen and twenty stand out to me. And it says this: it says everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry. For the anger of people do not bring about the righteous results God desires. So that verse really stands out. So what I'm gonna do is in my soap journal, that handle I'm gonna print out, I'm just gonna write that down or maybe I'll kind of jot it in my phone. I'll, I'll put that verse down, maybe even in my own words. And then the, the O stands for observation. So as I'm reading, I just kind of looking for what stands out to me, what what verse or two really kind of speaks to my heart. And so we try to, try to observe, you know, what, what's going on in this passage, who is it written to? What's kind of the, the, the big theme? Uh, and then the next step is application. So I'm gonna ask the Lord, what would it look like for me to incorporate this verse in my life? What, what would be different in my life if I were to apply this into my everyday life? And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask God what that would look like. And so maybe it means that for me, I need to just kind of slow down and listen a little bit more before I allow my emotions to drive my decisions, whether it be feeling frustrated or feeling offended, or, or getting upset, you know, just allowing the Lord to kind of cause me to really hear what, what the person is saying. So that might be my application. So I'm going to write down in my own words, this is how I think God wants me to apply this to my life. And the P stands for prayer. Now, it's really cool. You can, you can write down your prayers if you want and just ask God, you know, to, to help, help this happen in my life. Lord, would you help me to, to, to start listening to those around me and, and help me not to fall into anger because I know that doesn't produce what you want to produce in my life. And so, man, I want to tell you, I'm really excited for us as a, as a church as we jump in and really start diving into God's Word together. It's amazing. You're going to see a change in, in just how your day unfolds. Because when we invite God to, to be a part of our day right at the beginning, man, our, our eyes are open for, for Him and for opportunities, and we see people differently. And I just I want that for us, church. And I think it's going to be so cool that we're doing this together. So I want to encourage you, be on the lookout online, on our website, on social media. We're going to maybe even have like some social media where you can kind of follow along and be a part of it that way. But we've got a lot of fun things planned as we grow in discipleship in 2024. I can't wait to see you soon and be a part of it. So God bless. Thanks for hanging out in my living room.